This week on Inside Boulder News. Boulder City Council made a unanimous decision on this city master plan. Find out how reducing food waste helps combat climate change and be a part of Boulder Fire Rescue's newest tradition. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Evan Daniel. Each year, the average family of four loses about $1,500 on wasted food. Food waste not only contributes to monetary loss, but also accelerates global climate change. As much as 8% of food waste attributes to global emissions. Join the city on next week as they bring awareness to this issue. The saying goes, don't cry over spilled milk. But spilled milk and other wasted food items are costing the country more than $160 billion every year. Dairy products account for the largest share of food wasted at about $91 billion, which is more than enough reason to cry. Food waste is actually a huge problem. It's estimated in different studies that up to a third of the food we purchase and bring into our homes or get out at restaurants is actually thrown away. Food waste not only attributes to monetary loss, but also accelerates global climate change. Every year, food waste generates 3.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide. And Project Drawdown, which evaluated a whole suite of climate solutions, has ranked food, addressing food waste as the number three top strategy we should pursue to combat climate change. For these reasons, the city and county of Boulder, along with other community partners, will be participating in the second annual Food Waste Awareness Week, which runs from September 9th through the 15th. Given the climate impact of food, it just seems like a really great place to start. And there's also an equity piece, which is so important to us here at the city, because it seems really just to people at their core wrong that we're throwing away something that could also feed hungry people. Food waste happens at many levels, in the fields, in processing plants and grocery stores. During Food Waste Awareness Week, the city will be focusing on what individuals can do during their day-to-day -day lives to reduce waste. There is a panel discussion on Monday at the Post uh, with local nonprofits. There's a roundtable with farmers on Wednesday during the farmer's market. And then our big keynote event is Friday at CU on the Eastern Campus, all about what's next, where, where do we take the conversation next when it comes to food waste. And we're actually bringing in some really great speakers. So I hope everyone will come out and, and join us. More information on Food Waste Awareness Week can be found on boulder.earth forward slash food waste. Boulder City Council unanimously adopted OSMP's master plan during the September 3rd council meeting. The plan will guide how the city stewards Boulder's open space over the next decade and beyond. Thousands of community members provided input during the plan's 20-month process. The city extends its deep gratitude to all those who contributed along the way. The OSMP Master Plan describes five focus areas that include things such as ecosystem health and resilience and financial sustainability. Some of the areas the Master Plan will be focusing on first are preserving and restoring important habitat blocks and corridors. With the final adoption of the Master Plan, Boulder's OSMP will begin implementation through a series of actions and report annually on its successes and progress. Community members can view the Master Plan on the website seen on screen. Staff and community members this week celebrated the inauguration of Boulder's first neighborhood Green Street. Dozens gathered at the Olmsted Park and heard from Mayor Suzanne Jones and other key speakers. The celebration also included a dedication to El Barlett, Boulder's cycling pioneer. Boulder's first neighborhood Green Street stretches from Canyon Boulevard to Iris Street along the 13th Street corridor. This low traffic street includes new safety signage and paint markings designed to enhance the comfort and safety of pedestrians and cyclists. We're just so honored that Dad is remembered in this way. If he was here, he would just be smiling and very humbled by this honor. So we're very special. Thank you. Out with the old and in with the new, Boulder's Fire Rescue is set to debut its newest fire engine at this community event. Boulder Fire Rescue is unveiling their newest fire engine to the community with a push-in ceremony. These ceremonies are common for the departments across the nation, but will be a first for Boulder Fire Rescue. The new fire engine will be backed into the station's apparatus bay with firefighters and community members helping it roll it back. Be a part of the start of this new Boulder tradition on Sunday, September 8th at Fire Station 5. The event will start at noon and the station will remain open to the community until 4 with a number of family-friendly activities. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. 
just go to fullerchannel8.com and click on subscribe. And be sure to check out the city's online newsroom for the latest city news. Have a good week.